guys, so today I'm here with my June favorites. I'm going to start off with a few face products. First, I have these Simple Cleansing Facial Towelettes. I really like these for taking off makeup. Now, I use an eye makeup remover to take off my eye makeup, but these are great for taking off your face makeup. So, these are kind of like what the brand says, simple. They're very simple wipes, but they get the job done and they don't break me out. These have no perfumes in it, no dyes. I've tried so many facial wipes like Neutrogena, MAC, just so many different kinds, and I feel like they're always too harsh on my skin or they break me out, or I don't like the smell of them, and this has no smell, no, nothing, and it feels really clean on the skin. I find sometimes with makeup wipes, they kind of leave an oily residue on my face, and they make my face feel like I need to wash it afterwards. And when I use these, I feel like I don't have to wash my face afterwards, and it feels really clean. It says that it takes off waterproof mascara, but I don't really find that it takes off eye makeup that good. It's kind of rough, and it hurts my eye area, but it's perfect for face makeup and it hasn't broken me out. So I've been loving using these all month. Next is a summer essential, something I've been using all the time, which is my MAC Fix Plus. I absolutely love this. This has like rose water in it and glycerin, which is good for the skin. And it's just an awesome face refresher during the summer. I just spritz a little bit of this on before I put on my makeup and then after I put on my makeup and my face feels so good and refreshed. Also, this is great in summer because I know I use a lot of powdery products, but I don't want that powdery look. And if you spray this, it kind of brings normality back to the face, takes away any powdery, cakey look, and just makes your skin feel like, oh, so, 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 so good. So this is definitely a summer essential for me. Next, I have a new powder foundation that I've been, like, loving. I'm so excited to show this, and it's the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder Foundation. I talked about this in a haul, and I love, love it. I've been using it for a few weeks and it's awesome. It has replaced my Bare Minerals for now. It has SPF 20 and it gives a really good coverage for a powder foundation. I think it gives a good light to medium coverage so if you're looking for full you're definitely not going to get that probably out of any powder foundation but the powder is very creamy and silky like Bare Minerals and it's a very high quality finely milled powder and it doesn't wear off during the day. It lasts forever. Next I have a few Real Techniques brushes that I've been just loving and first is the powder brush I just, I really love it. I usually will use like this with a finishing powder just to kind of set my liquid foundation. Or if you want to use it for blush, you can use it for blush. And I just, I just really love it. Next is the buffer brush. I got this in the core collection I showed in a haul. This is great, great for mineral or powder foundation. It really concentrates the product in an area so you can get good coverage so it doesn't kind of scatter all the product everywhere. It gives you a nice concentrated coverage whenever you're using like a mineral foundation. I use it with that Neutrogena foundation that I just talked about and it works so, so amazingly. And I just, I just really love it. It's really soft and dense. Next, I have a blush, and it is Wet n Wild's Pearlescent Pink Blush. So, so gorgeous. It's like a corally pink so so pretty it has a little bit of a sheen to it and these are super cheap I think this is like two dollars and they're super pigmented and they're just they're just awesome but I've been loving this it gives a really nice kind of pink glow to the cheeks just like a little pinch and it's great for summertime I've also been enjoying my MAC eyeshadow in sweet heat this is from their in extra dimension collection it's supposed to be kind of like a liquid to powder finish I think they said so, so metallic and gorgeous and pigmented. I love sparkly kind of metallic eyeshadows, and this is gorgeous, it's like a champagne-y kind of toasted color. I've also been loving my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Badge of the Bronze. These are amazing, high-quality products for a drugstore. So if you have not checked these out, I highly recommend. Once you put these on your eyes, they're not coming off. They're a great base for eyeshadows. I use this in a tutorial where I put it on my base and I use some of Sidecar from the Naked Palette, and it stayed on all day. It didn't crease. These are amazing. I have a few mascaras I've been enjoying this month, too. Two mascaras I've been using together. I have the Maybelline Full and Soft and the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume. The Full and Soft is great, great. I love this because it gives a lot of length and separates your lashes and keeps them looking natural and full. And like it says, it is really soft. Your lashes aren't hard or crispy. And I think it's a great layering mascara. So I've been love layering it with Mega Plush Volume. And this is the new one, the one with the little... Bendy wand, which I don't know if that helps, but it's got a really nice wand on it. And I know I said in my haul I wasn't impressed, but I do like layering it with the Maybelline Full and Soft. And this formula is really nice too. It's a gel mousse formula, so it's not going to make your lashes hard or crisp either. And these two together give you like bomb.com nice pretty beautiful full lashes that aren't hard and crispy. The only thing I don't like about this and why I'm not completely impressed is that 
it doesn't add a lot of length, but I love layering these two together. Next, I have two kind of concealers. First is the Dream Lumi Touch Concealer by Maybelline, and this is in the color Nude. It's great to kind of use as a cheekbone highlighter on the skin and brighten up the under eye area. I don't know if I would use it as a concealer by itself. It's great for brightening up the under eye for that kind of Kim Kardashian bright eye look, and I love it. And another one I love even more than that is the Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. I've had this and used this for so, so long, ever since it came out, so I don't know why I've never mentioned it, but I love this. And this is the sheer tint one. I believe there's a medium to dark one now, but this is the lightest, and I love this. This is the only highlighter I've ever found with yellow undertones in it that's drugstore. It feels cooling under the eyes, and it has minerals and caffeine to help circulate the blood under your eyes and a few other like good ingredients in it. And it's great because not, it highlights and it's kind of a treatment in one. And I feel like it really calms down if I have any puffiness under my eyes, like if I didn't get a lot of sleep. And it adds just the most beautiful, natural highlight. I also use it on the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow, and it's just amazing. On to my favorite part. I know you guys already know what it is, my lip products. And I'm only going to show you a few this month. I have one of the new L'Oreal Caress lipsticks. These are amazing. If you have not checked these out, go to Target. That's the only place I've been able to find them. This is in the color Sunset Angora. I will swatch it for you. It's like a corally, gorgeous pink, perfect for summertime. And the formula of these are amazing. It's like an all-in-one lipstick. You couldn't really ask for much more. What these do is it moisturizes your lips. They glide on like butter. They glide on like the YSL Rouge Volupe lipsticks. They're so highly color pigmented and they pack a lot of shine. So it looks kind of like a lipstick and a lip gloss all built in one. They're really, really nice. And after they wear off, after a few hours, it leaves a really nice stain. But the stain isn't like... A lip stain it's more like a matte lipstick so the shine just kind of goes away and are left with kind of the look of a matte lipstick these last forever and they're amazing sunset angora is my favorite color I also really like rose taffeta but go check these out I'm just so impressed with these when I first got this I wasn't reaching for any of my MAC lipsticks or anything all I wanted was to use these and try more colors so definitely go check these out I have one of the Revlon just bitten kissable balm stains I feel like I was late trying these out because when I saw them in the drugstore for the first time I was like, those probably aren't going to work. Because Revlon has balm stains that are like an actual like marker kind of thing with a balm, and they suck. The balm breaks off. I couldn't get any of the stains to show up on my lips, and I just hated them. But I love these. This one is in the color Honey, and I got this one. This is the first one I got because everyone said it's such a natural color. It's right here. It's like kind of a dusty rose color, a mauvey color. For me, it's a My Lips But Better color because my lips are highly pigmented anyways. And I love this. They smell like peppermint. Oh, amazing. They smell like my favorite Orbit gum, the fresh mint one. And I love that. And they, But they don't taste like anything. So you're not going to taste that if you don't like things that taste like anything. These have no taste. And once they wear off, they leave a gorgeous, gorgeous stain, or at least this color does. I have a few other colors, but this one is my favorite, and I love it so, so much. And they're just so comfortable to wear. They're so light. I think they're a lot lighter than the Revlon Lip Butters, which I love. They're a lot lighter than that. They're really easy to apply, and because it's kind of like that tip, like the crayon tip, it's easy to get precision, and I am just so obsessed with these, and I've been using it like every day. This is like my go-to lip color if I'm just like going to get groceries, or I just want something really simple and easy, I'll just put this on. I've also been loving my Nude Nuances lipstick from the Maybelline Porcelain Collection. This is amazing, and the packaging is so adorable. This is like a pink nudie color. It's not really even a nude, it's more of a pink. It's kind of like a really light, creamy pink, as you can see so so gorgeous and these are highly highly pigmented and very creamy they're such high quality products for drugstore and my last lip favorite is what I'm wearing now and it's my favorite lip combo that I kind of rediscovered this month and first it's max cream cup lipstick which was the first MAC lipstick that I ever ever bought and I used to use it like every single day and then I kind of put it on the back burner because I started discovering other stuff I guess and it's just a perfect everyday wearable pink for every skin tone. And then over it, I love putting Max Boy Bait. This is a beautiful muted pink crunching glass. Absolutely love it. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I just put this on the center of the lip, and you're good to go. I have a few non-makeup products. First, I have my Shea Cashmere Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. It's a rediscovery for me this month as well. 
and I had about this much at the beginning of the month and now I'm like down to here. So I've been using it every day when I get out of the shower. It's so creamy and light and it smells kind of like a vanilla cookie but it's not strong enough to where I can't like wear perfume with it which I love. And this stuff like absorbs into your skin like this. You put it on and it's absorbed and your skin feels just like naturally gorgeous and soft and it's just, I love this. It's so easy. It doesn't leave like an oily residue so it's not a lotion that's going to kind of sweat off like when it's hot during the summertime. It's just, it's great. I have two product favorites. I've never done product favorites before, so I'm going to go through them pretty quick. First is my Vogue sunglasses. I love these so, so much. They're so cute. Um, I remember seeing the Kardashians um, before Christmas last year with some cat eye sunglasses, and I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute and vintage, and I love them, and I want a pair. They are um, Vogue is the brand and they're tortoise and I love them they're so so cute and these are the most comfortable sunglasses I've ever worn in my life they're really light they don't give me a headache usually sunglasses give me a headache whenever they sit like how they sit on my ear on my head I don't know it's weird and they're the perfect size and literally when I go outside and I don't wear these I can't see I think my eyes are just getting used to having so much sun protection from these that I can't see when I don't wear them. So I've been using these every single day. I mean, I've used them every single day probably since I got them, but I'm in love with them. Lastly is a purse, and it is my Willis from Coach. I actually work for Coach, but I got this um, a few months ago, and I have to be really careful with it because it's Vaquetta leather, and it doesn't have any dye on it, so it can't get wet. You can't wear it with jeans. You have to be really, really careful. But I just, I love neutrals. And knowing me, I, of course, the one I get is the one that you have to be so careful with. But I just love this. It has a little strap, so it's really cute to wear on your elbow. Um, I don't really wear it on my shoulder. This scarf is also from Coach. I've had it forever. I actually bought a scarf when I bought this that is pink and orange with sequins. It looks really, really cute with this. Um, or it's like a lilac, purple, and orange. It looks really, really cute. But I switched to this one because I wanted to switch it up. And the inside is so, so cute. The inside is the legacy print. So it's the stripes. It's gorgeous. And then it just has a pocket and then a zipper. And something else I really love about this purse is there's a pocket on the back. So I usually slip my cell phone into there because I like to be able to get to it easy. But I've been loving this. It's pretty big for a crossbody because I'm really not a big kind of purse girl. I'm trying to get into it. But... I really like the smaller ones, and it's just great for summertime. It's accessible. It's cute. And this is a remake of the Classics, the Coach Classics. Have you ever heard of it? You can get it off Coach.com. They have so many cuter colors in this now. They have a citrine, which is like a bright yellow, and it is gorgeous. And then they have a pink, a blue. There's so many colors in that. I love, love this. I use it all the time when the weather's good and it's not raining because I don't want to ruin it. That's all for my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share some of y'all's favorite things this month down below or leave a video response. I'd love, love to watch it. These are definitely my favorite videos to watch and favorite ones to make because it's like my time of the month to show you things that I've discovered or that I love because I know I've discovered a lot of products from watching other people's favorite videos. So I'm like, oh, I need a mascara. Let me go watch someone's favorites and they're just, they're just so helpful for me. So I hope you guys are having a great summer, staying cool, and I will see you next video. Bye.